What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over where you guys should be in the XP grind and is it worth grinding for Blake Griffin. So we're going to get into this. Um, before we get into the video, the stream was phenomenal. If you guys pull up to the stream, thank you guys so much, man. Like it up. Like this video up. Sub down below. Comment. Enter that giveaway that we're running for 100,000 MT. If you need MT, I am also selling MT. Uh, buying MC, all that good stuff, let me know. But yo, today, today, guys, we're going to go over a bunch of things, okay? Um, pretty much today, 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 uh, we're going to go over XP grind, where you should be, exactly what you should be doing right now. Well, I'm at 79,700 XP, so if you think about it, I'm actually in a very good spot. So pretty much, so far, this is the third week of XP. I believe this is the third week. So we have about three more weeks left. So we're going into the fourth week. So where should you be at the end of this week? You should be at 100,000 XP at the end of this week. I am 20,000 XP away. Um, actually, no. At the end of this week, you should be at 75,000 XP. So when it gets to 21 days left, you should be at 75k XP. If you're not, you have a lot of grinding to do. And why is that? Because you need about 25,000 XP per week, if I'm doing that math right. Yes, that is right. So, 25 days left, okay? I'm ahead of the game by 4,700 XP. So, like I said, so every week you want to get 25k XP. It started at 42 days. So then when you get to 35 days, you got to be at 25k XP. Then when you get to 28 days, you got to be at 50k XP. And then 21 days, 75k XP. So we have 25 days left. So where should you be on Friday? You should have at least 75K. That is exactly where you need to be. So right now I am 4,700 XP ahead and I still have so many challenges to do. So that is where I think you should be. Now we are going to talk about, is it worth grinding? I am level 35. I am honestly, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I am not no BS biased bitch that gets paid by 2K, okay? No, I am all my own. I am grinding. So do I think it is worth grinding for Pink Diamond, Blake Griffin, wasting literally a, a hundred plus hours of your day grinding? No, literally no. Do not grind for Blake Griffin, I'm telling you. Unless you're already close, just get him and never do this ever again. It is not worth the stress. And let me tell you why. Okay, to be honest, to get where I am, you have to, you literally have to play countless hours of grinding. I don't care what anybody says. The grind is insane. There is countless, countless hours into this grind. I probably grinded over 50 hours to get to where I am. No lie. This is no cap, no lie. Literally. Is it worth grinding whatsoever? To be honest, these rewards, in my opinion, suck, okay? I'm on level 30. I have one more ascension board left. I haven't got the grand prize this time or last prize. Only thing I have to say, Blake Griffin is just not a worth it, guys. I'm going to run Giannis over Blake every single time. I have Diamond Giannis. He is actually insane. So, is it really worth grinding for Blake? No. For Curry, it was. Curry is goaded. He's still goaded. For Blake, guys, it's not really that worth it. And honestly, yo, we're going to actually get into his stats because I want to show you why he's not worth it. And we're actually going to compare him to other cards. So we're going to look up Blake Griffin right here. And I'm going to show you why he isn't worth it. So here we go. We just got him up on the screen. We're going to add him quickly. Here we go. We're also going to move my face cam out the way so you don't see my ugly face. Um, here we go, man. We got Mr. Blake Griffin. I don't know what is going on. There we go. Okay. So we got Blake Griffin, man. He's got an 84 three-point shot, 88 mid-range. Okay. 98 driving dunk, 98 standing. That's incredible, right? His speed's incredible. Offensively, he's incredible. Do not get me wrong whatsoever. But, okay. But, but, but. You have to add a lot of badges to make him good. He is only 6'8", or he is 6'10". So you really could only run him at power forward, okay? How long will a power forward last in this game? 
That's the problem. They already have a couple good power forward centers. Yes, he's going to be good for a while. But you just have to think about the hours you could be spending on the game grinding. You could be spending on MT. If you haven't realized yet, since they did just drop all this crazy content, LeBron James, James Harden, all that good stuff. You have to think about this, okay? This Blake Griffin, yes, you can get range extender on him. Don't get me wrong, he's going to be a beast. But here's the thing. If you look at the market, if you look at what's going on with my, like, with my team, MT's king, okay? Like I said, think about it this way. If every day you get on the game and you spend two hours, you're going to make a minimum of 25K, okay? If you're going to make 25K MT a day clean, that is gold. Because in 10 days, you have 250,000 MT. In a month, you have 750,000 MT, okay? So if you're getting close to a mil a month in MT for running two hours per day, that is way more worth it than grinding for Blake Griffin in which you lose MT. Because grinding for Blake Griffin guarantees contracts, and if you're no money spent, you gotta spend money on contracts. Um, the only thing that you get is Ascension Board. Ascension Board isn't worth it. SGA isn't worth it. So like realistically, looking at this grind, guys, looking at this grind, I don't think it's worth it. Like, seriously, do you guys think it's worth it? Because I don't know. In my opinion, I'm not totally sure. I don't know how I feel. Because I have been grinding very hard. I've been freaking busting my ass, bro, to grind. Looking at all these rewards, they're not worth it, guys. The only thing that's worth it, worth it is Ascension Board. Duncan Robinson, you're not going to use. SGA is not bad. This pack, you're going to get a bronze. Um, the only central board is the only good thing, and it's fun. Okay, Trey Young. I'm not using Trey Young. I did him for the XP. So I don't know how I feel, man. I'm all over the place with XP. I know I sound like a complete, like, mean person, but I'm literally giving you my perfect opinion. Only thing you really get is about 50 tokens, two packs that you're not going to get anything in, and SGA, and then Blake. Diamond consumable, I got a 4K shoe. A 4K shoe. I already lost MT. They're not going to reward me with any more MT. Like, to get this much XP where I'm at, you got to spend money and lose it because of the reduction. So, I don't know how I feel. I want to know what you guys think of in the comments. Is it worth grinding and where you guys need to be? You got to be at 75K XP by the end of the week. Right now, you should be around 60K XP, 65K XP. But, yo, other than that, that's all we got for the video. I just wanted to put out some knowledge for there. Out you out there for you guys because you know what i'm here for the content i'm here for the knowledge i'm here to help all of you guys and honestly that is all we got for the vid hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for more content we're running a giveaway on instagram twitter all that good stuff if you follow the instagram and twitter you need mt make sure to hit me up but honestly that is all we got that's all we got have a good one guys hope you enjoyed peace What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.